good communication skills are obviously very important for your child to be successful in life and i'm sure you must be doing your best in your capacity to make sure your children have good communication skills now communication skills when you talk about they can be both written and verbal so in this video we are going to talk about good verbal communication skills how to help your child develop good verbal communication skills hello everyone this is ab kids life coach empowering parent transforming kids so if you want to learn more such powerful things i would recommend you to subscribe to this channel and do not forget to like this video because i'll be sharing some powerful insight into this particular topic so let's get started let me share my screen with you how to help your child have good communication skills i'm sure you can see this uh, shared screen now so let's straight dive into it what is that number one thing you need to understand for that matter if you know some of you might be sending your children for speaking classes which is important it is good it is fine right but what do you need to understand that communication skill is not only about the speaking it is much more than that sure you understand it okay so one very important aspect which many of us tend to ignore when we say communication skill is listening you need to have good listening skills as well if you want to be a good communicator and if you are looking for an institute you need to see whether that institute is teaching listening skills in addition to the speaking skills right so need to look at that now what else does the communication mean okay let's understand it so good communication when you talk about number one on top of that see your audience now it can be your you might be communicating with one person or multiple like i am a speaker i speak to 4 4 to 500 people at a point of time right so your child might not be doing it at this stage but still what is required number one thing for a good communicator is to establish a connection with your audience okay connection and when you do that the people are willing to listen to you if you straight dive into and start talking about something what happens you may not be able to establish that connection and people may lose interest so the number one thing that is required is to establish a connection now how do you do that there are multiple things which are required in this the first thing that is required is you need to observe your audience now it may be just done within a few seconds right like when i start speaking to people the first thing that i do i closely observe look at everyone for 5 10 seconds okay just do that as to where they're coming from what is their age group uh and uh what are their mental state right so you know, these are the thing which need to be developed over a period of time but need to be kept in mind when it comes to good communication skills right moving on to the point number 2 which is required a very important skills which i already mentioned to use your ability to listen and listen not only the words which are being said but also which are not being said there are many times you know we want to say something but the words that we may use are not correct for that purpose so you as a communicator need to be able to understand that okay not only about the the words it's also the body language the verbal expression all that includes the listening skill ability now there are many times right we are when we are communicating we are just waiting for a opportunity to speak but if you actually want to be in control of the communication you need you see what you need to do you need to be good at asking questions why because when you do that you understand your audience much better so even if you are having a one to one communication you know many times we think we are under the uh, this belief that the more i speak the more i'll be able to communicate better that's not how it is what it is is the more you understand your audience the better you will be able to answer their concerns and the better you will be able to communicate with them not only that when you are asking question you are telling the other person that you are interested in them 
and you are not here simply to make your point and uh, and you know what else is there is that when you ask question you understand their mental state and accordingly you can change your flow of content it's not only about you know going about that particular content which is there on your mind you may have to change it so you you what is very important is for you to ask question understand their point of view understand their challenges and concerns and then only you know it comes about conveying your point right okay the next thing which is there when you are listening to the people there are many people who tend to judge others so it's so that judgment is wrong because then you get a wrong perception but what is important is you empathize with them once you have understood their concern and challenge you empathize with them okay now coming to the next point very important many times people may say something which is not appropriate which is not right okay so as a communicator you should also be able to ignore those things how many times you have heard you know you as you as a speaker might have used a word which is not correct politically correct or otherwise it might have offended people and people tend to latch on to that particular word they may not mean it right so you need to understand as a speaker as a communicator as to if you need to ignore certain thing you must you are there for a specific purpose to able to be able to convey your point but if you latch on to some words or few things which should be ignored then what is going to happen that entire exercise will be futile and it may end up in a in a in a uh, you know uh, with a bad taste which is not required so ability to ignore is very critical moving on to the next point those without saying confidence how confident you are about yourself about your to you what you are speaking okay how much conviction you have now the more conviction you have about what you think what you believe in what you are going to talk about the better you are going to speak the better you are going to communicate right so the confidence in your ability all that is very critical you need to work on that okay number th four thing bravery bravery is the soul of communication is the soul of what you want to speak so uh, as i said earlier it's not how much you speak it's how well you convey your point briefly so you need to teach your children to be brief and let me tell you even in any case today uh, you know as human being our attention span has reduced significantly we want people to communicate everything convey everything in as brief as possible so the brevity is something which is very important for you to teach your children now once we have seen what actually good communication skills are what is that that we need to move on to understand the all time debate which is there which is introvert versus extrovert who is better when it comes to communication obviously we all believe it's extrovert but this is where i think differently i believe differently that for variety of reasons introverts have a big advantage why so number one point is obviously what is there is that extroverts are there to speak speak more they want to say more and what i already told you what is required number one thing for you as an uh, communicator is your ability to establish connection with your audience who has a who is who is likely to be better in this introvert or extrovert obviously introvert because they are not there only to speak they are quiet for uh, more time right so they can easily observe their audience they can listen to what they are actually saying okay they are going to be asking more question and empathize is something which you can develop similarly like audience and you know confidence and ignorant how to ignore things right so so these thing can be developed and introverts when it comes to observing listening asking question definitely they are far ahead uh, in comparison to extrovert so your thinking that when it comes to communication extrovert had an advantage is something i do not agree with 
And let me also tell you, I am myself not an extrovert. I'm sure you might be surprised by that. I'm not an extrovert. Okay. But as a speaker, I am good. I have that ability to connect with people. Right. And thereafter, make my point and tell them exactly what I intend to. This is a skill which I have developed despite the fact that I am not an extrovert. So communication skills, I personally believe introverts have an advantage. All right. Okay. Now, you know, the best thing about all that, what I've shared with you, you do not need to send your child for some speaking classes. All this is possible at home. Do not believe it. There are some, these are some very simple things which you can teach at home. And that's what we teach the parents, okay? Empowering parents, transforming kids is our tagline. So when it comes to this particular thing, you know, you know in a very spell, specially well-designed program, this is what we teach, you know, the parents. And when they, when, you know, they do these simple things, simple exercise with their children, children are able to learn communication skills in a manner which no institute is ever going to teach them. We make it that simple, you know, and then there are obviously many more advantages of doing that. So I'm sure you have learned something good, something powerful, and you have done that. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel as well. So thank you so much, AB Kids Life Coach, Empowering Parent, Transforming Kids. Bye-bye. See you.